As a child, you would wait and watch for far away. Oh boy. All right, well, hey everyone, Just Gear here, and uh, this is more of one of those serious videos or discussions, I should say, and this is about Copa. Now, I know I'm a bit late on the subject because this thing has been around for like two weeks right now, and there's still more we can do, but I'm, all right, so here's what I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, and mostly bad. So, I'm going to talk about my opinions and what we can try to do and stop it and see what we can do, but why don't we talk about wh what COPA stands for, alright? Now COPA, the Children Online Privacy Protection Act. Now, when I first thought, read about it, I thought, oh, this is a new law. Boy, was I wrong. It's been around since the internet was born, uh, apparently. So, since 1998 when the internet was all popular, and basically what this means is that no company is allowed to take data off children for some reason, I don't know why. And it's just the age, I don't, I don't see it. Ah, crud, I got a VI on me now for saying that. It's not what I meant, buckaroos, alright, calm down. But, uh, yeah, so... Companies are not, are only allowed to take da data of people that are older than 13. And company... Alright, so companies can take uh, data of children if the children ha have consent by the parents. And the only way they can do that is by sending a fax machine or something and some other piece of paper that was done that was popular and done during the 90s that's how you know this paper needs to be updated by a major landslide so basically companies are not allowed to take uh, or not allowed to do children's data and well YouTube done messed up because they did that because YouTube has a lo has a lot of data on kids for the plain YouTube, not YouTube kids. You hear me? Kids YouTube. All right. So, what this, what happened was, YouTube took data off of children that they weren't supposed to, and they, and YouTube even bought themselves out for it. They even said that YouTube is the number one place for pre preteens or preteens or something. I don't really know how to say it for or something. And two to eleven year olds is the best place for YouTube to. Or for kids to learn stuff on YouTube or something like that. I didn't read all the statements or comments, but I know it, it was taught. YouTube just pointed themselves out there. And well, COPA is angry at them, or not COPA, the FTC, I should say, which is our government. So uh, they had, so YouTube had to pay a fine of up to one point something billion dollars, I think. Or no, no, no. It was. 186 million dollars I believe to fix this and that seems fine and all but the FTC wasn't there boys now weren't he wasn't he all right so the FTC thought oh why don't we punish us more ain't that something so now FTC decided to push in the COPA extra hard on us because we we're doing good until this happened so and what got the FTC somewhat of an intention was you want to hear how? That was Spider-Man and Elsa videos. Yahoo. That channel is long gone. It got deleted like last year or two years ago or something. But it's long gone so don't worry about that. But that's what that's what helped spark the flame for the Copa and FTC situation. So yippee to that. Uh, so basically here's what happens. The government thinks that it's content creators responsibility to decide of what kids watch and all that stuff so basically this means that it's our job now to babysit kids based on what they're watching instead of the parents now obviously that's bad parenting and the government needs to stop living in the 90s and all that because it is not our job to babysit because we make what we want is because not only do we like it but it's because that's what other people like as well and we're not going to change anything about it so in the FTC article or piece of paper or whatever, it says that, uh, or not the FCC paper, the COPA paper that you're that you are not allowed to make child-friendly content, and if you do, you you will lose 80 to 90 percent of your ad revenue. Your video won't get recommended. Uh, 
You won't get other videos recommended. Your like and dislike ratio will be turned off as well as comments. As well as that little info and end screen will be turned off. Pretty much if you make a child friendly content video or whatever. You are pretty much down in the sinkhole. Now. Uh, you, it's an option where you can ha have the child friendly or kid friendly checkbox and not kid friendly checkbox. So obviously. A lot, YouTube, ha a majority of them are people who point towards everyone, mostly because we want to stay monetized and earn money. So, uh, I'll talk about the good news about this later, but I'm going to talk about what the chronological thing has been happening. So, basically, if you make not kid-friendly content, you get demonetized, but if you make kid-friendly content, you'll, you won't get money either from the FTC and the government will take it all because they're greedy and that's all they're good for. Uh... So there's this really small and tiny, smaller than Ant-Man's Atom tiny gray area that you can fit perfectly into. Now what that is, we honestly don't know. So, here's what happens. Now obviously people would be like, oh I'm just going to put my content as not kid friendly. If you make content for like everyone and all that. But here's the problem though. This applies to people who actually don't make kid friendly content like Vanos, Jack... Uh, Mark, uh, correct, who's some other curse person? I don't know, but you get the whole point that people who don't make kid content, like swearing and all sorts of stuff, uh, the FTC can decide that it's actually kid friendly and, uh, they'll switch you back to kid friendly and uh, assume that you were lying to the government about your videos being a certain thing or cover or whatever. So, Here's what the punishments are for lying, quote unquote lying about it, even though you weren't. So, you'll get fined up to $42,000. And knowing the government, they're going to go for that max. And they're not going to go lower. So, let's just say that you're, so here's what I'm just going to say. You're going to get fined $42,000 per video. So, take those $42,000, multiply it by all the videos you've made ever since you started YouTube. Now, people who started, like, over 10 years ago, that's like a billion dollars that no one can pay off. Not even Apple or Amazon can do that themselves. So that's how you know the government's greedy and likes to hoard up money. Now, uh, if you put, so, here's what the government thinks, or the FTC thinks that's kid-friendly. Toys, video games, uh, bright colors, uh, what else, animations, Slang terms like cool, fun, get your parents permission, uh, and some other stuff which is like common use and all that that we use. Because everyone in their videos say cool and all that. Uh, as well as you can't use pop culture. So you can't use Marvel, DC or any of them. You can't use like colorful characters or w any of that stuff. So you pretty much have to make your videos black and white. And you can't do video games or animations either. So, yeah, this is what I mean by the, there's a small gray area, because it's really small, if you think about it. Now, how does this affect me? Where do you reach that, p where do you talk about the bad of what the whole situation is? I mean, right now there's a petition going on to try to stop it, as well as the FTC is giving us options to leave a comment. We have till December 9th, and after that they're going to start reading them. I'll put a link in both down there. Obviously, there was a no upload day on November 26th. I don't think anyone participated in that and I forgot or something. But, how it affects me. Oh, boy. Now, you guys know me, so... I am... I like to appeal to everyone. Because if I was, like, kid-friendly, I'd be doing Minecraft and doing those baby shark malarkey and bull st stuff things. Uh, but... I'm not like in the swearing area, but I'm not also in the kid area. I'm like in between where we appeal to everyone. So that's where my channel might get affected as well, and I'm worried about that. We'll talk about the good news soon, but basically I can get fined up to forty I can get fined up to forty two thousand dollars for all my videos and if we go to the videos right now da -da 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 -da, I have up to Oh crud, I don't even know how many videos I have. But I know I- wait. Alright. 
I make a lot of videos pretty much and I'm gonna get find a lot of money now obviously you can try to go against it by hiring a lawyer and going to the court but that's gonna cost even more money 239 videos so if we multiply 42,000 minus 234 239 that will give us about so clear that 239 times 42,000 10 mil okay so 239 v videos times 42,000 that's 10 million dollars over 10 million actually now that's a lot of money that I can't that I do not have our own even if we combine all my family's money that's still not enough to pay off the fine so my channel will get affected by a major sum so now obviously people are thinking oh FTC is not gonna do it or Copa's not gonna do it because everyone hates it yeah to the people that are saying that they won't do it unless you say something so if you're gonna so the people that aren't doing something by saying that they're not gonna do it because everyone hates it yeah, the only way we can stop him is if we actually do something, not just say we don't, that we do nothing. So, to everyone that's saying that they're not going to do it because, even though they're not doing anything, if we had more people like them, then yeah, it's actually going to happen and we'd prove those people wrong. But thankfully, we have more people who want to protect the YouTube and all that. So, ha, uh, but if this FTC doesn't get reversed or we like just try to remove a lot of their rules... Um, there's a high chance I'm probably going to upload less on the YouTube area and stay more on the Twitch area. So you start following me on Twitch just in case if something goes south with the whole Copa. Uh, so my channel will get affected hugely. I'll try to bend the, the bone and back and stick a little bit. Not enough to break where I'm on the cussing side, but I'll include a few curse words here and there as well as alternate some and maybe a few sailor words and all that I just said that uh, but yeah so unless we can try reversing this since all that we're running out of time now good news uh, one YouTube is removing demonetization thank God but they're doing that because companies want to aim towards paint or they want to go advertising edgier content so we're in the safe side now as well as the fact that Co we actually got some good news about Copa last week like a week after Copa started and become popular a week later after that happened we got good news about it so the good news is that they line up a little bit saying that they're only gonna have people alright so if a majority of your people are watching alright so if, if a majority of your viewers are kids you're gonna be under Copa and they're going to keep an eye on you for a long time. Turn that off. Uh, they're going to keep an eye on you for a long time. As well as. You don't. Alright so. If you have a few kids watching your content. You don't have to worry about that anymore. So even if you have a few kids watching your content. And you're not making kid friendly content. You don't have to worry about getting fined. Which is good and thank god. So we're on the safe side right there. And that's all the good news I have for y'all. I mean, we, we still can do more. So, Vanos, Jack, Mark, Delirious, Wildcat, and all of them. They're, on the, they're, all, they're all on the safe side, actually. So, plus we can go back to our old roots of YouTube, making the content that we're supposed to make instead of, like, going kid-friendly and all that since companies want to go for edgier content now. So, everyone's going back to their old ways. Old YouTube is somewhat coming back. We're fixing it and doing good right now. But, so far, so good, actually. So, uh, I'm going to leave the video here. But, pretty much, without this good news, my channel will be gone. Greg's channel, Fear, Platinum, Claire, Saltmine, Cranberry, all those channels would be gone. Oh, also, uh, YouTube's going to start deleting channels that haven't uploaded videos in a in a year or so the very first video on YouTube is about to get deleted womp 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 unless someone re-uploads then just constantly uploads it but all right so pretty much any channel that doesn't upload within a year or has basically if a channel doesn't upload it in a year their channel is gonna get deleted I guess they're, tr they're trying to cut off channels to make like 
to make it easier for smaller channels to grow and for people to find them which is a good thing if you think about it so I'm not sure when this is probably gonna start taking place after this year so after this year the YouTube's gonna start deleting channels that are year that have year old videos or they haven't uploaded in a year so if you want to keep your channel start up now if you never made a video on your channel you'll be okay it's just channels who haven't uploaded a video in a year now if you start doing YouTube and stop doing that and just let, rather watch it just upload a couple of videos here and there so you can keep your channel that's what I do for those who just stop doing YouTube and don't want it to be their job or whatever keep it so you don't have to worry about now if you delete your videos I don't know what would happen there uh because no one's figured out what would happen if you just delete all your videos so but that's everything I have to say so I will have to end off the video here follow twitch I'll have the two petitions down in the description below but if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like subscribe no dislikes and whelp Draskill's out of here